everyone. This is our fashion apparel analysis group research conclusions. For our category, we chose workout bottoms. Hi, I'm Abby, and I chose to do my workout bottoms from Lululemon. Hi, I'm McKenna. I chose to do my workout bottoms from Under Armour. Hi, I'm Kennedy, and I chose to do my workout bottoms from Adidas. Hi, I'm Kyan. I chose to do my workout bottoms from Pink. For what I noticed, there is uh, major differences between the garments' materials and their shaping. Uh, Abby and uh, Cayenne chose to do a pair of leggings. Both their products were shaped to fit the body, while Kennedy and I's pants were shaped to a looser fit. Um, my garment specifically is categorized as a jogger, and um, they used elastane to help fit the pants to the waist and the ankles. And then for the materials, I noticed my garment, Kennedy's and Cayenne's garments, all included a percentage of polyester, but Abby's garment was uh, made mostly of nylon. Abby concluded that the main quality issue in the Lululemon leggings was pilling in the areas with the most friction around the crotch and inner thigh. Mac concluded that the Under Armour pants did not have any significant quality issues. They are, great, they are a great quality pair of pants. When I inspected the pink leggings, I found that the fabric was pulling around the cro crotch gusset and created tiny holes. I also found that there was a large run down the back of the garment, leaving, leaving me to believe that the garment was two pieces and not just one. Kennedy concluded that after years of wearing the pants, they had a high quality. She says she only noticed the Adidas logo peeling, but nothing else concerning. I believe that the pink leggings were the lowest quality garment because it had holes in a run. The rest of the garments all seemed to be good to high quality. I feel like choosing workout bottoms as our category made it a lot easier to compare and contrast the bottoms because there aren't as many styles of workout bottoms besides mainly leggings and sweatpants and those are the two types that we used. Um, I think it would have been a lot harder to compare different types of dresses because there's a lot more variety to the style and the type of dress with different findings and trims. The most common areas that our brands as a whole did the best thing related to quality would be texture and feel. Everyone's garments were stretchy and comfortable and durable. Considering that these are workout um, and athletic wear, that is expected. And all of our garments also did very well with washing. We didn't have to worry much about wear and tear or holes. They all just performed very well. Uh, the most common apparel quality concern across boards uh, was pilling. Evie and Kennedy both mentioned pilling on their pants after a few wears, and um, running seams were also mentioned as another quality issue. Abby agreed with the reviews that the garments run true to size and the garments are a comfortable quality. She also agreed that the materials are breathable and durable. The reviews also say that the leggings length is sometimes small and the shorts sometimes are short. The Mac agrees with the reviews that the Under Armour the Under Armour quality is good. She agrees that the fabric is soft, comfortable, and true to size. Mac agrees that Under Armour does a great job of producing their garments. I agree with the reviews that pink garments are comfortable after many washes but sometimes do not have the best design. Kennedy agrees that Adidas is fashionable and comfortable. comfortable. Overall, we agree with the reviews. After looking through the charts of the research, it looks like my brand, Lululemon, had the most clearance sufficient information stating the quality of their apparel on the website. Lululemon is so proud of their quality that they have a take back service. So if your legging or tank top doesn't perform, you can get it taken back and you can get a refund or pick a new product. I was very impressed with how much information was listed on their website and the layout made it super easy to find all of the information. I do believe that many brands' quality statements align with what customers experience. Not only are the same reviews coming from multiple people, but these apparels were made to match the description of what is being sold. And considering that these are companies that are more so on the higher end, they are expected to meet the quality expectations that the consumers want and for the prices they are paying. Um, based on what I found on our brand's websites, the most transparent brand, in my opinion, was Lululemon. After Abby reviewed their website and used an outside source to fact check their site, um, it seemed as though they were very transparent about their worker safety, production sourcing, and fair wage policy. However, the brand that was the least transparent on their policies was Pink. 
Uh, they had scored very low in the outside fact check report in regards to material sourcing and work policy. Abby found that Lululemon was reliable with what they say on their website. She was able to find information on Wiki Rate that was consistent with the brand's claims. She found that Lululemon is very transparent. Mac also found that from Wiki Rate that Under Armour Under Armour is also very transparent. She found that they do a good job of in implementing their policies. After researching Pink, I found that they are highly not transparent. After reading the tr transparency report. Pink's sustainability and ethics is much less implemented than they say. Kennedy found that Under Armour was transparent about their ethics and sustainability. Overall, we found that brands are consistent with their website except for Pink. This project has greatly impacted my group as consumers. It has made us all realize that brands can portray themselves as sustainable and transparent, when in reality, they are not even following the basic regulations, which Cayenne found with Pink. It also showed that other brands like Lululemon and Under Armour are transparent and can provide the accurate information that consumers need before making a purchase. As a consumer, this makes me want to purchase items from brands that are transparent and not support brands that lie. This project also made us realize that before buying from a brand, it is wise to look into the brand and see its quality standards, as well as reading reviews from customers. This has helped impact our group as future professionals because it gives us a look on what type of companies we want to support. For example, I would not want to work for a brand that is lying to their customers about how sustainable they are and what they support, and that we wouldn't want to work for a company that doesn't treat their workers well. So before applying for a job, it would be smart to research the, the brand to know that their values align with your own.